Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today. I'm going to be teaching you how to pre-generate your world on your Minecraft server in order to make sure that, you know, well, how do I put this? It doesn't lag like crazy whenever people are generating new chunks on your server. This is a huge way and a big, big way to reduce lag on a server. And it's actually so important that you shouldn't start your server unless you've pre-generated your world first, because otherwise on launch date, you're going to have tons of lag as everyone starts generating all those chunks. Even with stuff like paper, where you do get better performance, it's still recommended to generate your world before you start your server, again, just to have the best result. Luckily, this is an easy process. All it requires is downloading this plugin and running a few simple commands, as well as setting a world border, and you are done. It's, it's that easy. So we're going to be going over all of that in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have another smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protecting Minecraft server for you and your friends. Now, while pre-generating your world does reduce lag, Apex has incredible lag-free hardware. They never oversell their servers, and they truly are top-notch. We love Apex so much that we host our own server, playdotbreakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking to start your very own Minecraft server, which you probably are if you're looking to pre-generate your world, then you want to go to Apex. There's nowhere else you should look. Go to the breakdown.xyc slash Apex first link down below to get your server set up and running today. But we're not here to get a Minecraft server. We're here to fast generate, or fast chunk pre-generate, or pre-generate all the junk in our Minecraft server. You get what I'm saying? We're here to generate our world in Minecraft. So what you want to do is go to the second link down below. That will take you here. This is the Fast Chunk Pre-Generator plugin. This is, as you can see, native for 1.16. There is older versions. I believe you go to version history here. Yes, there is going to be some older versions here that are for 1.15. I don't know exactly where that break happens, though. So we're just going to be doing this on 1.16. Truthfully, if you're starting an older server, the plugin World Border will work for that. However, World Border has stated they aren't going to be updating anymore. So we have Fast Prunk Pre-Generator stepping in. So let's go ahead and click on the Download Now button. And that's going to go ahead and download the plugin after a few seconds. Just like any other plugin, you're, not going, to need, you're going to need to keep this file the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we do have the Fast Chunk Pre Generator plugin. Now, if this isn't on your desktop, it's going to be found in your downloads folder. You can find that between the little windows icon up here in the top left. Type it in downloads. Here's your downloads folder. You'll find Fast Chunk Pre Generator here. Now we need to grab this and install it onto our server. So I've already got our paper server set up here. You obviously do need a server that can run plugins, like a paper Minecraft server, in order to get Fast Chunk Pre Generator because it is a Minecraft plugin. So if we open this up here, we do have the plugins folder. We have a few other plugins installed here, but that doesn't matter. We can have those installed and then install Fast Chunk Pre Generator, right like so. Now we want to go ahead and get this server started on up before we need to start the server, before we can generate our you know, world. So we're going to run, click the run.bat file here, get the server started up. And then once the server is started up, we're going to be able to get into the nitty gritty of this plugin. First and foremost, we're going to be looking at the config of Fast Chunk Pre-Generator. There we go. As you can see, the server says done, meaning it's done and now set up. And if we go into the plugins folder here, we will be able to see Fast Chunk Pre-Generator. We've also got the configuration.yml. It's not config.yml. That kind of threw me off. It's configuration.yml. And this is where you're going to be able to find all the files and settings here. Now, by default, you can leave most of these, but it's going to take a while to generate your world. What these are for is increasing your world generation speed. However, I'll be honest with you, I do not have at all the best computer for pre-generating a Minecraft world, right? All of our servers are hosted remote and on very good hardware that can handle this, but my own computer has 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's a very old CPU, that sort of thing. So I'm not going to mess with these. However, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you one that will allow you to get the most performance without getting a ton of lag in game. So basically you're gonna be able to get the best of both worlds here with the one at the end. It's going to be you know a high performance example, meaning you are gonna need decent hardware, but it should generate things pretty fast. That's gonna to be towards the end of the tutorial though. So by default, we're gonna leave all this you know as is, and you can probably do that as well. It's just gonna take longer if you don't. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and close it out or minimize this config, and we can jump in game to really get rocking and rolling here. So we can go ahead and open up Minecraft here and join on in to the server. So once you're in the server, you can basically do everything with commands. It's, it's that simple. Everything you're going to be doing is done in game or on the console with commands. But it's easier to do it in game uh, whenever we're doing a tutorial here. So I'm actually going to transition right like so to Minecraft. And it's going to take a second. The screen's all black. It's horrible video quality. Oh my goodness. I can't believe. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. But for some reason, every time I transition, it does that. Even if I've had it open before and then transition back, it's black when you first transition it. So sorry about that, but we're here. We are now good to go. So once we're in game here, the first command that you're going to want to do to basically get things working is set a world border. But 
you need a world border for this to work, I suppose you don't have to have one, but you should just have a world border on your server in general. It's better to have one than to not, because if not, then you don't know how big of a radius you want to generate and everything. You need a world border. To set that, you want to do a slash world border and then set and then basically kind of the radius you want the border to be. We're going to do a thousand because that's just easier, right? Boom. So 1,000 blocks wide world border. You know, if we fly 1,000 blocks in this direction, we're going to be able to see the world border, but that's going to take some time. So we're not going to do that. But nevertheless, you get the point. It's there. So now we can go ahead and use that world border as what we're going to generate with the fast chunk pre-generator. So to do that, we're going to do slash FCP, and then we're going to fill vanilla, which basically means fill vanilla world border, right? That's what that basically means. And then you need to set a chunk buffer. And this is how many chunks outside of your world border you want to have. I would recommend doing somewhere between 5 to 10, right? The reason for that is you want to make sure that people can't generate when they are on the world border, that they aren't generating chunks out there. Six chunks is usually safe. Some servers do have a 10 or even 15 render distance, and if that's the case, you want to do that. But we're going to do six for the case of this argument. Then you can set your world. Now, I would recommend pre-generating your world and your world nether and your world the end for your server launches. However, for this, we're just going to set the main, basically, world here, the vanilla overworld. So we're going to go ahead and do that and hit enter. And now it's going to start. Now, one thing I will wor like warn you, this could start lagging the video because this is going to be pretty CPU intensive. It's going to be pretty intensive here, but that's why we didn't up those settings to make it faster. As you can see, though, it's moving pretty fast. It's generated already 216 of these chunks, and it's going to keep giving you these updates over here in the console, just like so. Now, if you want to pause this for whatever reason, let's say you needed to do something, you needed to restart the server, which it should pause itself when you do that. But just in case you want to be safe, you can do slash world or slash FCP pause. Boom. And that's going to, as you can see, pause pending generation tasks. So as you can see, they're no longer popping up over here. You want to start them back. You can do a slash FCP resume, right? Like so. And it will go ahead and start the generation back exactly where it left off. As you can see, it was at 773. It picks right back up at 821. Now, for whatever reason you wanted to stop this, which honestly I wouldn't recommend doing unless you wanted to try to speed it up, make it go faster. To do that, you would go ahead and do FCP and then you would do cancel. So FCP cancel, hit enter, and then it's going to go ahead and cancel it and then it'll be good. Now, if you go ahead and do resume now, it's not going to work because there's nothing to resume, right? To re-enable it, you're going to have to do the entire command, which was FCP fill vanilla and then the chunk buffer, which we did a six and then world to get that to work, right? That's what you're going to need to do to re-enable this. Now we do go ahead and re-enable it, right? It's going to pick back up there. And as you can see, it's already got those chunks generated. So those 1,200 it generated of the 4,700, they're no longer there. It already knows those are generated. So it can now pick up with just 3,400 left. So that's good. It's not going to redo everything every time you launch this. It's only going to pick up and generate the chunks that need to be generated. Now we go ahead and do FCP pending here. It's going to show you in game what is left, right? For whatever reason, if you don't want to open up the console, whatever you want to see how much is done, you can do FCP pending in game and get that result. As you can see, it's almost 20% done now. Pretty, pretty fast for the tutorial. Now I'm going to go ahead and that's basically it, right? That's right now your world is generating. When this finishes, you're good to launch without lag as far as chunk generation lag, I should say, because your world is pre-generated. So much so you can actually probably see the improvement if you just fly in one direction on your server. I mean, as you can see, all these chunks are already generated. It's already generating them at the end. It's just loading them. It's not building them because it's already done that, right? So pretty cool stuff. Easy to generate chunks on your server and make things faster. And that's what this is doing over here right now. Now, let's go ahead and check and make sure that we can get this fast. So to do that, we're going to do FCP cancel. And then we're going to go ahead and go back into the tutorial mode here where we can then... I just realized you guys couldn't see this generation. So as you can see over here, this is what I was talking about. Sorry about that. In the console, you can see all the generation that's happening. I can't believe that. I can't believe I just did that. I don't know if it should I reshoot the tutorial for that. I don't think so per se. Maybe we can go ahead and like put a screenshot of that up while I'm talking about it. I don't know. But as you can see, that's where that's where that's at. So you can see this generation happening. You can even see back here how we stopped it. So it was at 4,700. We stopped it. And then when we resumed it, it automatically picked up with 3,400 left because we had already done these. You can also see, you know, like all the different stuff it fetches at the beginning and like when it's doing the, the generation, all of that stuff. So yeah, nevertheless, now we've canceled it. We've stopped it. And what we can go ahead and do is open up our config again. Now, this is directly from the plugin page. I'm not doing anything special here. This is all direct from the plugin page. And what we're going to do is make max mils per tick is 28.5 ticks between. That's going to be left zero async chunk loading is going to be turned to true. So we're going to change this to true. Then we're going to do high async priority. We're going to do true. Unsafe async calls is going to be left false. 
Max parallel calls is going to be changed to 64. Notifications per second, we're going to do 8. And then, yeah, that's that. That's how you can set that up. And then you can do notification type console. We'll change this to op and console because we want both there. Now we can go ahead and save this. And then if we stop our server, we're going to have to restart the server basically. So stop the server there. Let it save everything. Boom. It's going to be this important you do this, especially when you're generating chunks. You stop the server because, well, it needs to save all those chunks it just generated. And then we're going to go ahead and start the server back on up. Right, like so, and I'll see you after the server started. Just do a quick jump cut, and then we'll be good to go. I'm also going to close out of this and this. Okay, I'll see you after a quick jump cut. Here we go, the server is set up, so we can go ahead and join right on in. And then once we're in here, we're going to be able to this time do FCP, and then we're going to do fill vanilla again, and then we're going to do a chunk buffer of six in the world, hit enter, and it should move a little faster. It should. That's not always going to be the case, I should say, by the way. It's not always going to move faster when you do these updating settings. But as you can see, it definitely is. It's doing 401 chunks per second or 3,200 of the 5,600. It's done so fast that we're actually going to be able to see this completed, pretty much. Right, so we're actually going to kind of be able to see this finished. As you can see, it did finish that there. That was the pre-generated. And then now it's going to go through and generate some more chunks that I'm guessing it found or missed as that whole entire process was going through. But yeah. Pretty crazy stuff, pretty simple, pretty fast, and the best way to generate is with that upgraded settings, but again, you're going to, you know, increase lag and things like that. We can check our TPS, it's actually holding steady there, so pretty cool stuff, but nonetheless, that is how you can pre-generate your world in a Minecraft server. This is a recommended for every Minecraft server, by the way. You always need to do that. Um, I am very, very sorry that I didn't show you the console earlier. I thought I was showing you the console. I was talking about the console like you could see it. I feel very bad for that. But I think you kind of get the idea. All the commands still work. All the commands come through. And now we can see it in game because we changed that console setting. I will expand the world border real fast and just show you again what it looks like in game. And then I'll cancel it and all that stuff. So as you can see, this has now been fully generated. And uh, basically it's done, right? It's, it's basically done there. Now we go ahead and do world border add. Or sorry, not WB. World border add. And then we'll do another 1,000 blocks to 2,000 blocks wide. And then we can do FCP. And then we're going to do fill vanilla. And then six in the world, boom. And then now you go, it's going to go ahead and expand that world border to 2,000 chunks. All right, like so. It's going to take it a second and then it'll start generating. And then once it's done that, boom, there you go. It is now generating. We can do FCP cancel or pause, excuse me, FCP pause to stop the generation. All right, as you can see, it's no longer generating. Not going to pop up any right there. We can go ahead, resume to start things back, All right, like so. It's generating right where it left off there picking up without any issues and then if you want to cancel it stop it all together you can do ANCC or if you want to see like the results it's not showing you fast enough you could do pending see exactly where it's at you could spam that even and watch it generate the chunks you know every second and then if you wanted to cancel it stop it all together you can do cancel right like so so there you have it that's kind of the quickie tutorial there at the end but nevertheless hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome content come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com that is our very own minecraft server survival skyblock factions you'll love it come play with us the best minecraft server in the multiverse i promise you that so come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I'm going to wait to see you online there. Enjoy your newly generated Minecraft world. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.